I am very excited about this comparison video and I think this is a highly anticipated video at this moment because a few of the test subjects are new to the market. What we are testing in this video is Gutenberg versus Bricks Builder versus Oxygen Builder versus Live Canvas versus Breezy. And our focus is not on features but more on how they are stacking against each other on their speed performance. I've done speed tests on old school page builders like Elementor, DV, Beaver Builder and 4 others on another video so the test conditions and and format are going to be the same for this video. We will still be installing these page builders on separate domains but all the domains are hosted on the same server. We will not be installing any caching plugins and any external elements used on the page such as the images and fonts will be exactly the same. We will also give the best advantage to each of the page builders which means these page builders will be installed on their own WordPress team or their recommended teams. I'll explain to you when I show you what's installed on the domains. And then we will do the same two tests again. Number one is the bloat test where I would use the same data from the previous video. This data is basically from the default WordPress install and this will act as the baseline for the bloat test. And then we will add a header text and button to a blank page through each of the page builders and after that we will do a test and we will compare the results to the baseline and see how much of a difference it makes. The second test is the most important one and it is going to be the same as in the old school page builder video as well. We will use each page builder and recreate this page from scratch and I will build it up in front of you so you know there is nothing to hide. The goal again is to make this a fair, objective and transparent test and that's what we are going for in this video. And then we will conduct 10 tests on these testing tools over 12 hours and we will average the results. Creating this video is really time consuming. It took like days to record, analyze, edit and many things in between but I enjoy doing this because I think it will benefit all of us as a community. So if it's not too much to us, if I could get a thumbs up from you, that will make me think all these efforts were worthwhile. I truly appreciate that and if you could share your thoughts and experience on either of these page builders in the comment section, that would be awesome. So without further ado, let's get started with the test. Let's go. So let's start the process by showing you that all domains are hosted on the same server. I've installed the respective teams and page builders and this is how they look like by default. And you probably realize that the Oxygen Builder page is completely blank and that's because once you activate the Builder plugin, the team you install will be redundant. So it is showing a completely blank page because nothing is added to it. And in case you have watched the Gutenberg vs Old School Page Builder video, you would have come across the same domains and the reason is because I don't have have enough domains on the same name servers so I need to recycle them. I mean I have lots of domains on SiteGround but whenever you host a domain with them they will auto assign your domains to this name server or that name server so to save time I'm going to delete the entire WordPress install on domains I've used before and reinstall a fresh WordPress. So in case you are very particular about the domains I've been using for my testing, don't be alarmed by that. So to check if all domains are hosted on the same server, we'll use a third party tool called whoishostingthis.com and we'll do a search. So as you can see, all the domains have the same IP address and they have the same name servers. They're all hosted on SiteGround, which is the web host I recommend for speed. And if you want to check them out, I've left the link in the description for the latest discounts. And now that we know we are starting off on equal grounds, let me show you what's installed on the back end. Let's start with the WordPress team. So for Gutenberg, I've installed the Cadence team. The Oxygen Builder does not require any team as you can see over here. So we'll leave it as the default 2021 team. The Bricks Builder is a team by itself. And as for Breezy, it does not have a team by itself, but they have some recommended teams such as Bloxy, the Neve team, Translate Press, Astra, Ocean WP, and out of all these recommended teams, Neve is the fastest based on my test. If you want to check that test out, the link is at the top right and I've left a link in the description as well so you can check it out later. So to give the best advantage to Breezy, we will install the Neve team. And as for Live Canvas, they have developed its own team called Pico Strap. Now let's check out what plugins are installed. So as you can see, I've installed the Page Builder plugin and no other plugins are installed. The Bricks Builder does not require an additional plugin, so we have installed zero plugin to it. So now let's create a new page and add a header and button to it. So now let's do the bloat test.
And as you can see with just the header and the button, Live Canvas is performing the best, followed by Gutenberg, and then Oxygen Builder and Bricks. And Breezy seemed to be a little bloated. And I think it kind of belonged to the old school page builders test instead of this test. So I'm sorry, Breezy, if I made you look bad. So let's go to the next test. So based on this test, Live Canvas is still the best of all. We have a performance grade of 96. And out of all, it has the smallest page size, followed by Gutenberg. Gutenberg has a small page size as well. Oxygen is doing pretty okay. And Bricks is a little bigger in page size. And as for the load time, Live Canvas is producing the fastest results, followed by Oxygen, and then Gutenberg, and followed by Bricks. And as for the total number of requests, Live Canvas is the best as well, followed by Bricks, and then Gutenberg, and Oxygen. Breezy is basically out of this league. And actually, I'm quite curious about the performance grade. If you look at Gutenberg, it's getting a B grade, but it has a very small page size, it loads fast, and it does not have a lot of requests as well. But anyway, I would say that all these page builders are neck to neck with each other other than Breezy. But Live Canvas is showing the best result of all. And then let's go to GT Metrics. So as you can see, based on the fully loaded time, Live Canvas is the fastest followed by Gutenberg and then Bricks followed by Oxygen. Breezy is loading 1.1 seconds with just a header and a button. And then for the page size, Live Canvas and Gutenberg, they are very competitive in this area, followed by Oxygen and then Bricks. Breezy has the biggest page size. And as for the page request, Live Canvas has the smallest count, followed by Bricks and then Gutenberg and Oxygen. And overall, this is how it looks like. And this is based purely on the page size. And this concludes the bloat test. So now that we know the bloat results, let's go to the next test. So now instead of asking you to spend hours watching me create the pages from scratch, let me fast forward the process and if you want to see how I build these pages, feel free to slow down the speed of this video. Honestly, at this point in time, I am very curious and excited about the results. I did quite a bit of research on these page builders and they are said to perform really well on Google PageSpeed Insights and other speed testing tools. I've always been critical about page builders because of speed concerns but maybe these new school page builders may change my mind and if they did change my mind, I would probably start exploring them and creating new tutorials on them. And while building this identical page on these builders, I would say there is a learning curve to all of them. So let me walk you through the difficulties I've encountered with these page builders while creating these pages without any prior knowledge. So I'm very used to Gutenberg so I would not comment on that but with Oxygen Builder, this is the first time I've encountered a page builder plugin that requires no WordPress team. What I really like about this builder is that they show you the structure and layers of your page in one view so it is very convenient for you to select the right layer and edit it with ease. I had some trouble trying to add a separator between the header and text and after spending a lot of time figuring that out, I decided not to add the separator to all the pages. Other than that, Oxygen Builder was intuitive and I had no problems figuring out how the builder works. Now when it comes to Bricks Builder, I'm quite surprised by how robust it is even as a new page builder. It is on its first version and it is solid, but with some bugs. For example, I duplicated this section and I tried adding a new section. The new section will not appear at the bottom and I had to reshuffle the content whenever a new section was added. Maybe it is due to my lacking experience with this builder or maybe it is a bug. I'm not sure. Anyway, this is the only problem I found with Bricks, otherwise the page builder is intuitive and easy to use. And the interface is fast. And then comes Breezy. The layout was somewhat confusing, it took me some time to understand the platform, it does not have the font I need which is the basic Arial font so I had to switch it with another one of their fonts. And my biggest problem with this builder is you can't drag and drop after duplicating an item. Again, maybe it is my limited expertise on this builder, maybe you can do that and feel free to correct me in the comments. I just didn't have the time to explore the builder in detail but I felt a page builder should be intuitive enough to know what I want to do after duplicating an item and they should make the move button prominent. Now, my biggest challenge of all was Live Canvas. It reminded me of the days when I was using Dreamweaver to create web pages. It was a pain because you had to understand HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. After I left my tertiary education, all that knowledge was passed back to my lecturer and working on Live Canvas brought back memories. Man, I struggled a lot on this. If you are new to WordPress or page builders and you don't understand a single line of code, 
please do not get this page builder because you will get so frustrated that it will blow your mind. I know it is the fastest page builder of all from the bloat test and it is because you are basically coding your page from scratch without adding any extra codes for ease of use. And that's why it loads extremely fast. This page builder is meant to make the life of web developers much easier but it brings pain to people who struggle with codes like me. And one big problem I have with this builder is that after editing the HTML properties, if I accidentally click on the elements on a page and I start editing it, all the added codes I gave to the element will be gone. So of all the page builders, I spend the most time on live canvas, but I'm glad I completed the page. And I would say that if you are very comfortable with codes, you may like live canvas because it makes your life easier. They have quite a few templates done for you. And the only way to edit those templates is for you to change the codes. So live canvas is definitely not the page builders for beginners, even if it happens to be the fastest page builders in this test. And now after spending hours upon hours, I am finally done. As you can see, these pages look identical other than the one from Live Canvas because I just can't find how to do the image overlay for the entire section. I mean, I found a way to do the overlay on the div but not on the section. So I decided to remove it entirely. But other than that, everything else are the same. The images are the same, the fonts are the same except for Breezy. And now the final step will be for me to wake up at 5am to do the test. So let's go. So let me give you a brief while I fast forward this process again. There are a total of 10 tests conducted over 12 hours and this will give us an accurate gauge of the performance of each page builder. So this second test is to match up the results of the first video where we have tested Gutenberg against old school page builders. And if you notice within each test, I had to do multiple tests on Google PageSpeed Insights because I want to eliminate the issue with reduced initial server response time because I think this has nothing to do with the performance of the page builder. If I was testing the server speed, I would have taken that into account. So to make the test fair, I had to do multiple testing and make sure there is no such issue on the results. So this is not to give advantage to any particular page builders in case you are wondering. Now, I would say out of the three speed testing tools, if you ask me to rank the importance of their results, I would say the Google PageSpeed Insights is the most important, followed by Pingdom and then GT Metrics. In the past, many people advised that you shouldn't put so much focus on Google PageSpeed Insights and focus more on GT metrics for its page load time. But it is getting more and more important to place focus on the data from Google because Web Vitals are now officially going to be a ranking factor. Of course, if your website is not focused on getting ranked on Google, all this page speed stuff does not matter to you. But for us who are competing for the top spot on Google, this is something we need to pay attention to. And that's why I'm doing this test. I'm hopeful that Gutenberg will come out first place in this test. I've been preaching about Gutenberg and how fast they are performing, but I'm not quite sure if it will become number one in this test because of these new page builders. Will they really beat Gutenberg? I'm hopeful that they will not, but I'm keeping an open mind. Whatever the results, I will gladly accept because it matters to you. I want to give you the most honest and genuine results and if a page builder turns out to perform better than Gutenberg, I will start to explore them and do tutorials on them. So there is really no harm coming my way and I will not try to doctor any results to make Gutenberg look good. And here is the final test. I'm very excited about how this will pan out. And we are basically done. Let's check out the final results. Let's first check on the results from GT Metrics. As I said, we shouldn't focus so much on the results here. What's more important is the results from Google PageSpeed Insights. Let's just take a look at why I say these results aren't really accurate. If you take a look at Breezy, it has the biggest page size, it loads more requests than Bricks, but the fully loaded time is faster than Bricks. For me, that just doesn't make sense. What makes sense is if the page request is higher and the page size is a lot bigger, the fully loaded time should be much longer. But anyway, Live Canvas showed the best results on GT metrics. In terms of the fully loaded time, Gutenberg ranks number two, Breezy at number three, Oxygen at the fourth place, and finally Bricks. But as I said, this is not a good indicator. Now, one thing I noticed is that for Bricks, although it has a larger page size than most, it is loading a smaller 
smaller number of requests and I think it is because it does a lot of front-end loading on the browser side instead of relying on the web hosting server to load the elements and that's why you're looking at a smaller number of request count and this naturally should make a website load faster which is cool this is in contrast to oxygen builder where it loads the highest number of requests anyway let's take a look at the pingdom results so again live canvas is at the top i don't need to explain why any further it is built on pure html and css and how powerful it is it will depend on the coder and user the next best result is bricks as it loads the second smallest number of requests but has one of the highest page sizes Gutenberg is the second fastest loading after live canvas and it ranks third on page size and third on number of requests. Oxygen ranks second on page size but performed badly on the load time and number of requests. And Breezy is losing out on all categories except for the number of requests where it ranked fourth. And finally, let's check out the most important results which are the stats from Google PageSpeed Insights. And you'll be surprised, Gutenberg, in other words, Cadence team and blogs performed the best on Google PageSpeed Insights. Just a little better than Live Canvas because for Live Canvas, there is a poor result on Task 5 that drags the average down. If not, Live Canvas would probably come first. Anyway, the fight is between Oxygen and Bricks. And it seems that the front end loading from Bricks is helping it get ahead of Oxygen. But I would say that they are neck to neck in terms of overall speed. And honestly, Bricks and Oxygen are impressive. I never thought that the page builder could get a result of 90 and above from Google PageSpeed Insights. And after this test, I can no longer say that with page builders, you will never get a 90 plus rating on Google PageSpeed Insights, which I usually say on my videos, because this has proven me wrong. So let's put this into ranks, considering the overall and giving Pingdom and GT metrics some weight. I am very objective and I would say Live Canvas is the fastest of all. But how fast it is depends on the user you gotta understand codes to use it the second place will be gutenberg considering that it loads the fastest on google php insights and second place on both pingdom and gt metrics at the third spot it is bricks and not far behind it is oxygen and breezy is obviously out of this league so gutenberg has faced some strong competitors and i'm glad that it is still holding strong i'm honestly blown away by the results of oxygen and bricks i've never expected a page builder to perform so well on google php insights so it is a thumbs up from me on both oxygen and bricks but if you ask for my opinion between oxygen and bricks i would say bricks based on the price and its potential it is version number one for bricks and it is already amazing so i will place my bet on bricks but my favorite is still gutenberg i will stick with it for a very long time and if you're thinking of switching away from an old school page builder like elementor i will recommend that you go with gutenberg instead of bricks because the switch is much easier because you don't need to worry much about a header footer and archive pages it is an easy fix with the theme customizer and if you want me to recommend a wordpress theme that is fast and beginner friendly you can check out cadence i've left a link in the description for the latest discount however if you are starting afresh maybe you can try bricks currently it is having a launch promotion where the price is slashed heavily and it is a one-time payment for a lifetime membership the link is in the description as well anyway i've done a lot of tutorials on gutenberg if you want to switch from an old school page builder to gutenberg then check out the video at the top and if you need a Gutenberg tutorial, you can check out the video at the bottom. All the best to you. Hope to get a thumbs up from you. Stay cool and stay safe.